us somewhere. Wait. Wait, there you are. Oh, man. Can you hear me? Hey, it's Grimwald. Can you hear me? I'm right here. I'm here. It's gonna be okay. Don't try and move. You're not exactly in good shape. Let me have a look at you. I'm not exactly too serious, but, but I want to be extra sure. Hang on now. Looks like you've been caught in a trap. Yeah, a trap. But it's gonna be okay, though. It's gonna be okay. I can you. It's a good thing I brought some of this healing medicine as well. You just stay there, all right? You just stay there. Here. Rest your head on this. There we go. You just rest there for now. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna try and apply this medicine to you for now. Then I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? I don't trust you standing up on your own. It's gonna be far too dangerous and probably too painful. Alright, let me just apply it to your arms and legs. There we go. Take some deep breaths. If it stings, then, like say, just hold on to my hand if need be, hold on to my arm. Hold on to whatever you like. <laughs> Seriously, though. Just deep breaths. Here we go. Deep breaths now. I got you. Just focus on the wind blowing around us if you need to. Here we are. Alright, that should be okay for now. Just gonna let that settle. Shouldn't take too long. Managed to get the extra strong brand. You probably want to know what's been going on, huh? Yeah, I'll fill you in, I'll fill you in. And then I'm gonna carry you to safety. Well, the so-called assignment for the latest clan. Well, it looks like it was nothing more than a trap. Terribly sorry about this, I should've known. I mean, thank goodness that you're still in one piece, of course. Do you remember anything that happened? Anything that must have sprung out at you, or tried to attack you, or anything like that? You don't? Oh, no, no, that's okay, that's okay. Like say, don't you worry about that. I want you to take some time off work when we get you back to safety. Anyway, about the client, looks like he wanted to try and get one of my staff members to acquire an object, is the way he put it. Turns out, clearly, wasn't as simple as he made it out to be. It was all just an elaborate ruse, trying to thin out the numbers. Fortunately, this company has quite a few, how shall I say, opponents. Maybe you could call them corporate enemies, competition, or whatever your word you want to pick. There's some people out there who want this business to crumble on down for whatever reason. Uh, but if they're going to be trying to put people in danger, especially the likes of you, my, my star employee, well, uh, they're clearly not exactly what you would call the good guys. Like say, though, like say, things are going to be okay. You are not in danger now, because I'm here for you. All right. How about you take my hand? It's okay, it's okay. The medicine should have settled in by now. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna carry you home. Let's just say that I have a little talent on my sleeve to help us both get back to safety in pretty good time. <laughs> Problem is though, might just take a little bit of a walk before we get to where we need to go. Something that'll zip us back to safety before you know it. All right, but for now, though, time to get you up. All right, you ready? I left you in my arms. All right, then, all right. Here we go. <laughs> there we go, there we go. All right, you feel all right? Yeah, good, good. All right, just keep yourself close to my chest. I'm not letting go. All right, time to walk on back. Keep you warm and safe in my arms now. I don't think they're gonna be trying another attempt anytime soon. There's nothing to fret about, especially with me here. They're certainly not gonna try and do anything daring, that's for sure. How are the wounds? Are they still hurting? Oh, they're getting better already. That's good, that's good. 
Uh, it's a lucky thing that I managed to get that handy little vial of healing cream from a certain special client I know. Uh, I won't bore you with the details. Let's just say that she's quite a good friend of mine. Uh, that stuff that she managed to give me in exchange for a certain job. Did you work in that one? Acquiring that certain little gemstone. The one that was hidden inside the museum. I had to get someone to get in there and swap it up before anyone found out. No. No, no, it wasn't you then. It must be one of the others. Well, anyway. Let's just say that she paid a little bit extra of that fancy medicine. And I tell you, that was very, very useful for right now. Nah, nah, I, I insist, I insist, if it's used on you, that it's well used. I don't want to be leaving these things to chance, you know. I want to make sure you're safe. Don't you worry about your work. Like, say, take some time off. Wounds should be alright, but you still need some R&R. &R. I'll take you back to your home if need be. I'll check up on you in a day or two as well if you like. Your choice. Oh, certainly, certainly. Again, I just want to make sure all is well. You're probably wondering about what are we going to do with that untrustworthy client? The one who set up this trap? Oh, don't you worry, don't you worry. Let's just say that I'll be inviting him to dinner sometime soon. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be plenty of cranberry sauce to wash it all down. And right after that, I think he's gonna be disappearing for a while if you catch my drift. Bon appetit, I'm licking my lips already. <laughs> oh, but anyway, anyway. I'll certainly spare you the details of how that goes down. But as for you, though, if you're ever interested, maybe I could still take you out for that fancy meal that I promised. Yeah, tell you what, tell you what, if you're feeling better soon, perhaps we could spend one of your days off, and I'll treat you. Oh, I insist, don't you worry about what you order or how much spending, anything like that. I'll cover it, my treat. <laughs> oh, besides, I'm still blaming myself for letting this happen to you, you know? I think this is uh, my way of apologizing. Mr. Sean, Mr. Sean, we're gonna be extra careful when it comes to accepting jobs from clients now. If it sounds too easy to be true, then it's probably a trap. And anyone who tries to put any of my employees, especially my star employee, in harm's way, I'm going to be having them for dinner in a different kind of way. <laughs> Mind if I take your hand? Thank you. I got you. Everything's going to be all right. And you will be safe. I guarantee you that. All will be well. And I'll be still keeping an eye out on you. You're probably wondering how I got here so quickly, huh? Well, I did read the case notes. I did read the notes in regards to your report about this certain job that's been dumped in our laps. But as for how I got here so quick, you probably wouldn't believe me if I told you that I have a few tricks on my sleeve when it comes to heading around and appearing in different locations. Dimensions as well. <laughs> it's not all talk. I wasn't me joking during that briefing, you know. When do I have a joke? <laughs> I love teasing you like that. <laughs> I'm not teasing you when I say that's at least how I got here fast. We're going to be taking that very same route back home. We'll be getting back ever so soon. Are you feeling tired? Yeah, you, you really need to catch up on your rest. Don't you worry about this little transport trick of mine. I promise you it's going to be safe. Besides, probably better if you're sleeping anyway. 
I don't want you getting spooked out by it. All right, then. You want to just let yourself get all comfortable in my arms, right? That's all right. That's all right. Like I say, main thing is, I'm getting you home. That's what matters. Just breathe gently. Breathe softly. Let your eyes droop. That medicine's still gonna be working its magic. And all those aches and pains are gonna be gone when you wake up. Yeah, there. Just listen to the sound of my feet crunching away on the leaves. And the winds tickling your ears. And lullaby from Mother Nature herself to help guide you to sleep. Don't you worry. It's all gonna be okay. I promise. <laughs>